YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host, Bailey. Okay, I'm gonna try this again and hopefully I doesn't fail like I just did. Um, we are doing number 10 of the 12 pumpkin tutorials because I'm just trying to get them finished so that there's a complete 12 on the YouTube channel thing. And then we can move on to our beautiful and my favoritest of all winter wonderland nail art and face paints. So um, this one is called Marbled and Marvelous and it is inspired by the Marbled and Marvelous by uh, Audria, Audria Nail Art. And they look like this. Um, I tried a chunky, um, chunky gold polish and it didn't I don't like the way it looks in the background, so I've changed the gold for this. So we're gonna do two nails and hopefully the water will cooperate. We're gonna do one of these and one of these together. So cross your fingers. Let's go on down and see what happens. All right. Hey, bunny hands. Okay, so um, the colors that I'm using are 370 Blackout, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. I have 150 Sun Kissed and 170 Hot Tamale, both oranges, two different tones in Extreme Wear. Uh, for the base, I have switched to my 120 Go for Gold, Sally Hansen's Insta Dry, and I've already done that as a base. And for the clear, I'm just using uh, this is number. 800, I hope you guys can read that, 800 Crystal Clear, just a clear coat by Sally Hansen. I got this at the dollar store, $2. Those stickers never come off. Okay, so I hope this one works this time because that keeps happening. And here it keeps falling on the surface. Just trying to get some water marble done, you know what I'm saying? Okay, black, black. Get off orange. Clear. Black. Different orange. Clear. Black. Black. Okay. If you ever have a hard time getting stuff to spread, even though there are things on the surface, you can always move it around, move a Q-tip or whatnot around the edge of the cup, kind of help it spread. Now I have a um, water marble tool here. This comes with, you know, like brush kits and that. Um, if you don't have one of these, definitely uh, use, you know, a dotting tool or whatnot. And never start from the outside. Always start from like the second or third ring in because it's most likely Oh no. Dry on the outside or the inside or whatnot. Oh, you don't. So, obviously, the crystal clear dries fairly quickly. So, I'm just going to leave the water marble at that for this one because. That clear. I'm probably gonna switch to a different clear. So I want to try and get both oranges in there. And woo! -hoo! Okay. I got there. I do have some of that gold shining through. That's what I wanted. All right, so we're gonna set that aside to dry. Okay, 
One down, one to go. Okay, so I'm going to switch. Oh my god, wrecking up the place. Holy guacamole. I'm going to switch to my uh, Wet n Wild for my clear, just to see how that'll play out, you know what I mean? Come on, uh, thing two. Oh, look at that spread. Okay. All right, all right, all right. When you do water marble, it is not always perfect. You know what I mean? Everybody's human. Nobody is, you know, absolute 100% at stuff like this. Okay, I'm going to do one more clear in the center. All right, all right. And I'm going to pull a word this time, hopefully. Kind of getting funky, even though it's moving around the uh, the cup here. Okay, I think I know exactly what I want. Right there. Whew. You definitely got to move quick when you're using clear coats uh, because um, now I'm noticing that uh, they definitely do dry quick on water surface. So we're going to let these completely dry off and get rid of the water bubbles and then we are going to do the pumpkin face on the pumpkin marble nail. Alright, we're back. So this is completely dry. I can touch it, roll it on my hands, whatever. Um, so for the face, you're just going to need the lighter of the two oranges and the black with a dotting tool. So for the black, oh my goodness, I just strung it across the place. Put some of this here. And the dotting tool. And you can use a brush for this too if you like. You don't have to use a dotting tool to draw on the mouth. And I'm just doing like a regular smile um, on this pumpkin. And I'm filling the entire thing in with black. And then for the eyes, I'm giving it kind of like an evil... downward slanting eye and it's putting like two almost like two commas Ooh. my mommy's talking to me okay and to finish it you want some of that light orange. If I have any left, I've used this orange for almost every single one. 
Switch it to the other side of your dotting tool. And go in right over top of the black. You don't have to wait for it to dry. And put in your eyes and your teeth. And there you have a marvel and marvelous little pumpkin. So I'm going to let this dry and give it a top coat, add it to the card, and I will see you all back up top. All right, so those two are the ones we've done together. Like I said, I really like those two much better than these chunky uh, glitter golds myself, but it's preference. You might like this glittery gold one or whatnot. But yes, that is the uh, marbled and marvelous. And I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, I really, I prefer the, um, uh, <laughs> I prefer the flatter um, gold compared to the chunky one. So yes, any who's, click, comment, like, subscribe, and share with the universe. Keep coming back, YouTube family. You know I love you. Follow me on Instagram, bc underscore jazzy underscore time, and please follow my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash get my chest out. Any who's, two more pumpkin tutorials to go, <laughs> and we're good for the winter stuff. Because look at all that blue and white glitter I got. Anywho's, stay tuned, stay jetty.